Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right under... Uh, featured content, the opening call, subscriber webinar. Basil is going to be doing a subscriber webinar for his subscribers. This is going to be uh, December 20th. It's going to go from 4 to 5.30 p.m. And check it out, folks. The bottom line is that you can come over right now. You can subscribe to Basil's newsletter. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can get it for a month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. And Baz has a huge amount of archives on there so you can understand how he looks at the market every day, how he rides the wave every day. And as you're over there, don't forget about the Target dollars because that's how we discount products. We only do this twice a year. And check it all out right on the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, there's a lot going on, and I thought I'd start with this. So in Chapman Wave methodology, what we like to do, if I can just find the chart right here, um, is to identify the lowest low and see if we can go uh, up to be able to increase the the propulsion to the upside so it goes from a buy signal to a buy mode and basically we count each successively higher peak a b c d it can go e f g that's uh, seven higher peaks there's never an h and it's at that fourth highest peak d that other things can happen so now let me go through what we're looking at here okay. in the dow we're in leg f there could be a recycle but right now everything looks fine for a leg f but how, how, does the, how does the recycle work? So the recycle, the, there are a couple of ways to recycle, but one of the most important is the only time that you get a, a, a in the, other than the very beginning where you can recycle because you restart, but the when you get to the fourth highest peak, yes, if within three bars, it doesn't matter whether it's a one-minute chart okay. or whether it's a five- or a monthly chart, whatever, if it's the third bar, by the third bar, it makes a new leg, up to the to a new higher high. Yes. I call that an E. But in the back of your mind, you think that could be E slash A, a brand new okay. move. And one of the reasons is yeah. years ago, the instant restart <clears throat> is something I just, the school of hard knocks that becomes the, uh, sure. the doctorate in hard knocks. And finally, you get it right. And that tells you that this instant restart has the potential to go quite a lot higher to another four peaks. Right. So no, the reason the reason I'm asking is that you know between your, you know your wave and all you know Steve had all the TD nine counts and they all got blown away. I mean literally. Right. You know what I mean. So, so uh, I, anyway, that, in the, a sense, that's a good way to look at it because this D going to an E and now in leg F says, okay, that actually leads me to the very next thing that I wanted to talk about is, you know how back in August the first when we got that sell signal on the Dow. Yes. And I said that's the sell signal based on the on balance volume. It was right there, but I have to wait for a confirmation for a sell mode for that nine period exponential moving average to cross negative. We waited about eight or nine sessions before it did it. Here I said, and together with that, I said, in my work, there's a kind of I suppose I should start calling it an index. And that index says that if I start to see, I call it the dark news cloud cover. In other words, throughout the last couple of years, we've been talking about interest rates, interest rates coming down. Then all of a sudden, we're talking about interest rates going up. Remember, I had that expression, the Japanization of oh, our yeah. bond yields. I've been Big talking time. about that for 20, 30 years. And that was that we would also go to 0%. But then I said to you about two years ago, I said, you know, I think there's a change. I think we're done with that. So basically, we saw that yield started to move up. So this dark news cloud cover says it could be, I mean, at one point it was impeachment talks. It was just anything you want that the market takes very seriously. It's always sitting out there, but the market often ignores the bad news. So I said about a week ago, I said, I'm starting to see just little signs here. I can't even make it a big deal, but I'm just going to put in this little rectangle, all these rectangles, rec uh, are exactly when I started to see what I call an internal high before we got a residual high. And I'm saying, I think I see a start, just the dollar's a little bit higher, 
Yields seem like they want to go a little higher. But other than that, I don't see anything. So with that said, now we can go to the 914 and say, hey, wait a minute. These 914s, look at this. I'll show you just on the, the charts. If we, these are blank charts. All I'm showing you is the 914 crossover. And the gray line is the price of whatever we're following. And here's the Dow. Look at the Dow's. This is the price right now as we're speaking. And look, there's the nine period moving average. There's the 14. To get that to turn down pink, in other words, green costs yes. the black, you'd have to see the Dow down at about 35,400. Okay. So at this particular point, this is a bullish sign. I can just quickly go through the others because there's something else I wanted to discuss. Look, the S&P, nicely high. The QQQ, nice, very nicely higher. Um, the, the SMHs, which we went short just very briefly the other day, they were acting very poorly right here. And look what happened. That green nine-period nine moving average never went negative. And now look where the SMHs are. And, you know, I've been talking about this with you for a long, long time, saying from what I can see always is that the semiconductors really lead the market on the way up and lead the market on the way down. So, so far, that's a positive. Now, here's another thing that I want you to talk about. Even though I think we're getting closer and closer to some kind of a pullback, this is the most important thing. If this is a brand new leg A to the upside instead of a continuation pattern from the high of August the 1st, and this is not F, but in fact an A, to get the D, and in other words, in channel wave buy signal to buy mode, and that means the stochastic's very high. Wow, the stochastic's at 98%. The MACD is strong. The 9 is over the 14. This is the weekly chart. The price is way. You would have to see a peak A, and so far we're still in a leg A. Let's just say, imagine that next week gives you a peak A. And imagine that every other week after that gives you either a higher high or a lower high. So that means that we would go leg A, next week peak A, then you go into leg B, peak B, now you're into January, then you get leg C, but you have to wait for a peak C, and then you get your leg D. That takes you into the middle of January, just based on this one chart on the channel wave methodology. And that doesn't mean you can't have a big pullback here, but it does say that the law of 32,327 of the Dow should not be taken out because you should find some support around about the 34,900s on any big pullback. So this is an important metric. And if you're looking at the week monthly chart, we made that peak E at 36,900 in January. And now we are just a couple of hundred points away. So that actually so far is still a bullish sign. So those are the things I'll be talking about in my webinar coming up a week from tomorrow. And folks, it's very easy to get in the webinar. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to feature content on the right-hand side. You subscribe to that newsletter. It's going to be a great newsletter, great webinar. Baz, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors.